Now, I want to ask you another question. How many of you have never seen me before? Raise your hand nice and high. Never seen me before. Wow. I thought I was a lot more famous than that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Somebody booked me for more television interviews. Okay. All right. So, you've never seen me before. So, for those of you who have seen me before, would it be okay if I told a little bit of my story? For those who haven't, if that's okay, say that's okay. How many of y'all want to know who's talking to you? Say, I do. I do. Okay. My name is Myron Golden. I was born May 14th, 1961. Some people say, why do you give your birthday? Just in case y'all want to send me something. That's a very important part of your notes. Okay, May 14th, 1961, I was born in Clara Fry Hospital, which is a segregated hospital in Tampa, Florida. I was born in a segregated hospital. And the conditions of that hospital were so poor that I contracted polio before I was a year old. That's why I have a brace on my leg. That's why I walk with a limp. And the reason I tell you that early in my presentation, because if I don't, some of y'all going to be sitting there the whole time thinking, I wonder what happened to the leg. I wonder what happened to the leg. And you won't hear anything I say about making a million dollars. Okay, so I want to make sure we get that out of the way early. Well, for those of you who understand, polio is a neuromuscular disease that attacks the nerves in your spine that control certain parts of your body. And the polio in me attacked the nerves that controlled my left leg. So it didn't grow as fast, it's not as strong, so I have to wear a brace on my leg. In fact, when I was 13 years old, when I was up until the time I was 13 years old, I wore orthopedic shoes. How many of y'all have ever seen orthopedic shoes? Okay, orthopedic shoes look like, kind of like granny boots off the Beverly Hillbillies, right? And then my left shoe had a sole that was two inches thick because my left leg was two inches shorter than my right leg. So I got a granny boot on one leg, her monster shoe on the other leg. I knew I was destined for show business from the very beginning. <laughs> and the doctors came to my parents when I was 13 and said, Mr. and Mrs. Golden, we've got an operation that'll help your son. We're gonna stretch his leg. Now, you gotta understand, I was 13 years old. I had a very vivid imagination. I had seen Gumby and the Fantastic Four. And I didn't want to be the one to break it to this doctor that bones ain't made out of rubber. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? And so he said what we're going to do is this. We are going to break the tibia, which is the big bone in the middle of your shin. We're going to break it in the middle. We're going to put two screws through the top part, two screws through the bottom part. I mean the kind that you know, holds your transmission in. Screws with threads on them and everything. We're going to put them in this rack and we're going to put, have these knobs on it. And we're going to turn these knobs every day for 30 days. How long? Talk to me, everybody. How long? 30 For 30 days. And at the end of 30 days, his leg will be stretched two inches. That's the same thing I said. Wow. And then they said, and he won't be able to go to school for a whole month. I said, sign me up for that program. <laughs> and they turned these knobs every day. And this bone separated at the end of 30 days by two inches. Now, the reason I tell you this story is not so you can know about my leg, but so you can know about your life. Whose life? Everybody say my life. So you can know about your life. And here's what you find out about your life. Just like my leg, this event changed my life forever. Here's what I want you to understand. Everybody ready? Say, I'm ready. You can change your life in 30 days. Doesn't have to take a year. Doesn't have to take six months. You can change your life in 30 days. Who can get excited about that? Say, I can. But not only that, here's what I want you to understand. If they had put these screws through my leg and turned these knobs every day, my leg wouldn't have stretched at all if it wouldn't have been broken first. And here's what we got to understand. Seldom in life can we be stretched. What's the word I just use? Stretch. Everybody, what's the word? Stretch. Seldom in life can we be stretched to our full potential unless we are first broken. And unfortunately for most people, unfortunately, especially a lot of our people, we go through life cursing our curses. And we ought to learn how to bless our curses because the things you have to go through get you ready for the things that you come to. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Say, I do. See, I want you to understand something. This journey to becoming a millionaire, it's simple, but it's not easy. This journey to becoming a millionaire, there's going to be some mountains you're going to have to climb. But here's what I want you to understand. There is no destiny without difficulty. There's no advancement without adversity. There is no strength without struggle. And see, some of us say, well, you know what, God, if you could just sign me up for the strength and sign somebody else up for the struggle, I'll sign on the dotted line. It doesn't work like that.